Hey guys, it's Sekricity here, and today I have a good video, an interesting video, about Android. Now, I'm going to be using my Nexus 4 from 2012 to demonstrate this video, only because I couldn't get my hands on a Nexus 5. Now, I bought a Nexus device for mainly one reason, and that's because you can get timely updates from Android. That is, you can get the latest version as soon as it comes out, but that wasn't the case with KitKat. I had to wait a couple of days before I actually got my hands on the official release, and once I got it, there were a couple of things which I liked, and a couple of things which I didn't. So this video is to show you guys what's new in Android 4.4 KitKat. Now the first off, when you press the KitKat styled Android logo, you get this tiled mini game sort of thing with previous versions of Android um, logos like Honeycomb and Gingerbread etc. But that's not what's important here. What's important is that, um, as you notice, the status bar and the three home buttons are gone. This is called immersion mode and that's so that um, people can use the full screen real estate of an Android device. Once you go back home, you find that the UI is slightly changed. They change everything from blue to white, and the aesthetic things, little aesthetic things like the mic icon and all, have slight changes in them. But the main change is that everything changed from blue to white. So, for example, in my keyboard when I used to swipe around, I got a blue tail, now I have a white tail. Performance on, the, uh, on KitKat is excellent because Google actually lowered system requirements so that devices with like 512 MB of RAM can run Android smooth. So performance is excellent, buttery, you know, whatever words you want to use to describe it. Um, however, I didn't notice any major changes in the app drawer except for a couple of icons um, which have changed or moved around. And speaking of icons, let's go into the settings app where I noticed a couple of changes. Now the first change I noticed was that there's a home tab and that can be used to change between launchers which I'll get to in a second. Also down below you have a printing tab for, which is mainly used for wireless printing. Um, also in the location tab you also have a, a couple of changes that is it indicates how much battery each app is using and you also have a battery saving mode which I put my Nexus 4 into which is kind of neat. Also if you press more and scroll to the bottom you find some extra tabs um, for example this mobile plan thingy but when I press it I just get a message from my carrier saying that it doesn't have a provisioning website. Another change which I found in the settings app is that if you go into language and input you scroll down, you find a IWNN IMA keyboard which contains emojis, which is really cool. Let me just show you. If I go into the Hangouts app, open one of my messages, on the bottom right hand corner of my keyboard, you'll notice a small smiley face. When I press it, you get cute emojis on Android, and iOS users keep bragging that they have um, lots of emojis, well now Android users have a bunch of them too, and I found this really amusing. Another app that has changed is the phone app. Um, they arrange it so that um, the most frequently called people will be put on top, also the dialer has changed and the caller ID is improved so that if an unknown number calls you, um, Google will search who that is and display it on your screen, so that's pretty cool. Also, the Hangouts app is the messaging app, as you may have noticed when I displayed the keyboard. Um, Hangouts and messaging are the same, Google is just forcing you to use their services once again. But the main thing I hate about KitKat, especially on the Nexus 4, is that the UI didn't change. Nexus 4 specifically, um, the Nexus 5 had a lot of stuff like transparent home keys in the home screen, swipe left to get to Google now, and all that stuff. But right now, I'm going to show you how to get all of those cool Nexus 5 features um, on your Nexus 4. So just go to Chrome and go to this website. Um, I have the link in the description below for those of you who can't see it. And scroll down, um, there, there's going to be a couple of ads and press this big green button. Now once you press that in the notification center, um, a launcher should be downloading. Um, so once that's done, just press it and let it install. And once you're done with that, you go into your settings application and go to the home tab we talked about earlier. 
and you'll see two launchers the native KitKat launcher and the Google Experience launcher that we just downloaded. Now, this Google Experience launcher is what made my day for KitKat. It changed the visual feeling of Android. Now, it looks much better than it first was in the beginning of the video. As you can see, the home buttons are transparent now well, so that you can see more of your wallpaper and so is the status bar, of course. Also, the icons on the home screen look much bigger, much beautiful, much more beautiful, I mean, and uh, the folders are white now instead of black. As, you, as I told you earlier, they changed everything from blue and black to white, and you get a bunch of these messages which show you how to use the operating system now. Again, if you swipe to the left, you get Google Now, which I found to be really useful for me because it has a lot of cards like weather, sports, etc. Also, when you open your app drawer, apps are bigger and more spaced out, and best of all, the widgets have finally been separated. This gives it a kind of iOS style feeling, but being an iOS YouTuber, I don't mind. Also, to access the widgets which are gone from the app drawer, you have to long press on the home screen and you'll get wallpaper, widgets, and all that stuff. If you press wallpapers, you get, you'll get you notice that live wallpapers and still wallpapers are mixed together now. Again, if I want a widget, I'm just going to press widgets. Um, for now, let's take this clock and just drag it onto the home screen. Also new in KitKat, if you want to make a new home screen, select an app and you have to drag it to the next page, exactly like you have to do on an iPhone. Also here's something I found really, really, really cool, emphasis on the really in Android 4.4 KitKat. If you go into language and input in the settings and make sure your language is English United States instead of English UK, um, you can do something pretty amazing on your home screen. Let me just show you. Now, Google now is always listening to you. So if I just say, Okay, Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 443.2 meters tall. Okay, Google, how tall is the Burj Khalifa? Whoops. Okay, Google. How tall is the Burj Khalifa? So yeah, that was amazing as hell. You can just use your voice to go through it. Now on the Android website, I'm going to show you some other stuff which I didn't cover in the video, which is new to Android. That includes Bluetooth map support, whatever that is, Chromecast support, hint hint, I'm going to get a Chromecast soon. Um, Chrome captioning, Chrome captioning, whatever that is. Device management, which is really cool. You can control your data and everything from away from the device. Easy home switching, which I showed you. Email refresh, full screen wallpapers with previews, infrared blasting. Now, uh, a question to you guys. If you want me to show you how you can use your Galaxy S4 or HTC One, two phones only, to control your TV, your AC, um, whatever, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Alright, so you also have location in quick settings, location modes and monitoring in the settings application, low power audio playback, um, your step step counters built in, um, touch improvements for the Nexus 5, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So yeah guys, that was my video on what's new slash overview of Android KitKat 4.4. If you want more videos like this, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I worked really hard to make this video. Um, I, and I personally, I don't like videos like this. I make this for the subscribers. But if you like it, I'm going to keep them coming. Um, so yeah, that was my video on Android 4.4 KitKat. Anyway guys, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up for this video. Comment um, something positive just to make my day. Um, and subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. This is Techricity signing out.